Mama, ah, you trying to help them escape? Mm -mm. Hey, y'all. Hey, 2%. Uh, Shatika Woods, hey. PNG Media News, hey. All right, y'all. So, trying to wait till a couple people come in. And some are trying to let the chicks escape, seem like. <laughs> Angel, Angel, uh, hold up, no. Angel Loves Garden, hey. Wow, working. Well, thank you for coming in, honey. Uh, Nikwa, Nikwa, hey. I hope I said that right. So y'all, while I wait for people to come in, the chicks is over here just doing their own thing. Let's make all this over here doing their own thing. Urban Gardening Chronicles. Hey, I'm GL and Chat. I'm working, but listening in. Well, thank you for coming in. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get into this. Hey, CB, it's cold in Texas. Hey, it's cold in Texas. Oh, wow. Whew. It's, um, it was 71, 70 or 71 yesterday here, and it's 73 today. But then we go back to being cold. So I got a lot done yesterday in the garage because my garage was a mess. Um. Some stuff, get, just getting stuff done. I'm getting ready for spring, y'all. Because it's stuff that we can start doing right now, okay? It's stuff we can start doing right now. And so a lot of y'all has been saying that y'all going to um, get chickens, okay? So I actually have two lives for y'all today. So the, this is going to be the first one, all about the chickens. Um, what I've learned, what I know, um, Anything to try to help you get started. Now, I will say, let's start with this. Y'all saw I started with the brooders. Um, oh, wait a minute. One more ring, one more ring, one more ring. Y'all know how that is. Kylie. I think I took it off when I put lotion on. I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute. Where is my ring? Where is my ring? Kylie. So, um, look on the dresser where my lotion is and see if my ring on there. And bring it to me because I think I took it off. Okay. Um, all right, so one thing that I will say, um, about like I already told y'all, let's just start off right here. A lot of people is getting chicks for want to get chicks for the spring because and a lot of people say, Well, why why are you doing it in the cold? Why would you get chicks in January? Because I wanted a head start. I've said that so many times. I wanted a head start because. It takes chicks uh, 18 plus weeks to even get to, if they're baby chicks, to even get to laying eggs, okay? So I wanted that head start rather than getting uh, day old or one week old chicks or something like that at the beginning of spring. And that's where like getting them from tractor supply and stuff like that. A lot of you asked me, where did I order my chicks from? I ordered my chicks from Ideal Poultry, okay? Uh, the three over here is the of the five Easter eggers. And they came from a form, a, um, a, a form here in North Carolina. Okay, these over here, we have the one that survived that was born January fifth. Remember, out of that bunch, it was only one survivor. Um, so she was born January fifth. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, wash your hands because I had touched this and I just touched you. So just to be safe, wash your hands so far because I touched the date little thingy. So the one in here that was born January fifth. And then we have everybody else was born January 12th. Okay. Um, let's see. Fifth. Yeah. Yeah. January 12th. So y'all can do the math on how old they are uh, in here. So um, I will say if I were to, if I were to, if I decide to get baby chicks again in the winter, which I don't think I will because I already got my flock start up, but you never know. Um, if I did decide to do that, 
these are the pins I will go with. So, you know, y'all had asked, told me about getting the dog cages. I tried that. That's a no-go for me. I don't want no dog cage. It did not work for me. I will say these right here, this is the Top Paw brand. I got it from PetSmart. This is um, a dog exercise um, pen. And let me get the box so I can show you, okay? Because this is actually going to get converted into part of their coop for outside. All right, because we ain't wasting no money. I got I got this to get on more space, but you can turn this into this is one of them you can turn into um I think it's a, what an octagon, it's like a circular shade. Let me get the box so I can show y'all these. This is the 36 inch. Um, and PetSmart had my pet smart had it for $97 each. So I got two of them. So let me get that real quick. That way I can show y'all what the box look like. Just in case um somebody wants to do this okay um so i already got it mapped out what they think gonna be so this is the box that they came in and it's a it's a 36 inch exercise pen now some of you may be like well that ain't that the same as a dog cage no it's not it's bigger you can put it in different shapes see this is how it looks on the back if you did the circular shape um, you can order the trays to go in the bottom if you want to, or whatever the case may be. Um, but I decided to do it in the long one, and even in the front, the dog is in, they have it circled. So it's this brand is Top Paw. They have many brands, um, many brands that you can choose from. And all I did was, and I like this better than the Brutal, but like I say, you got to learn some kind of way. Um, I can definitely. Uh, because if y'all get y'all chicks and it's still cold in your area, you can definitely get one of this. You ain't got to worry about, um, you know, doing what I was doing with the brooders, making the little brooders or whatever. You can get one of these and all you're going to do is take your heat lamp. And this is for everybody that's getting chicks and then maybe still cold in your area because you don't want them. They're not going to, they have to be a certain temperature. So track the supplies where I got my heat lamps from. And I got the box here. I'll show y'all. Um, so I just about where I got my heat lamps from, and this is what they look like, okay? And then the lamp that you can get, I just used my lamps. I did buy one that was bigger. I used my shop lamp. You can see it right there, the ones I had when I was growing my plants, but I do have a bigger one. And the ones that try to supply, you will see I have this on it. And what this does is, because they babies, you have to have it so low. This keeps them from flying up, touching that actual heat lamp because that thing is very hot. It can start a fire. So be careful with that. So if you buy from Tractor Supply, just make sure you leave this on if they um very young because if they fly up, you don't want them to be burned by her. And this is kind of like a guard. It helps. So if you see those in Tractor Supply, that's what it's for. Um, So if you decide to get baby chicks and it's still cold and you want to go this route, I have, I still have to go get some more, um, some more wire for the top. But as you can see over here, we have the wire on top. You will put it across, zip tie it across, leave a, a opening for your heat lamp. And if they baby, baby, you will take the heat lamp further down to make sure they stay warm. Chickens is going to tell you what they need. If you see your chickens under that heat lamp, nine times out of 10, they're cold. If you see them running back and forth and all this, they're not. If you see them laying away from the heat lamp, it's because they got a little too hot. They're going to tell you what they need when it comes to that. And that's pretty much it for the startup. The brooders that I did with the tote required me to clean a lot more. These are a little um, older, and I'm doing the deep method. I just tidied this up yesterday. And all I did was I did not pull any of the shavings out. I added more shavings to it. I added some of my little coop and compost stuff that I got from Tractor Supply, and you don't smell anything out here. So I'll probably add shavings um, this weekend again or the beginning of next week again before I actually go in and sweep everything out. So my method for doing this is I will open it here. Let me just go ahead and say, if you do this, you need to put cardboard or something around the bottoms because... The black chicks that's in here can squeeze through. Y'all saw the other day, he squeezed through and got into the other thing through these um, rails. He could, he could squeeze his body through. 
So a baby, baby chick can do the same thing. So you want to make sure that you put board, we put cardboard all the way around um, just to make sure they don't go over here with the bigger chicks. They don't squeeze through. So that's why the cardboard is right there. And like I say, these last a long time. Um, so I feel like this would be the go. But like I say, I did the plastic brooders because I needed to, I needed to, we need to learn. Okay. So yeah, so I love this setup. So a lot of you be asking me what type of birds I have and are they meat eaters? I mean, not meat eaters. Are they for meat or are they egg layers? So I'm going to go over again, which birds I have. Um, there's different type ones for different things. Let me just go ahead and say too, I will, because somebody asked me about if I'm going to be clipping their wings. I will be clipping their wings a little when they, as they get a little older. I want them closer to, um, um, closer to, because a pullet is not really, these are pullets. So let me just say, in case you order from Ideal Poetry and you don't know the terms, let me just go ahead and say this. When you order, they will ask you, do you want a straight? Well, the thing is straight run. Straight run, that's a mixture of male and female. Okay, so if y'all want no roosters, don't get no straight run. Okay, then you will have your pullets. Pullets are baby chicks. Okay, um, that's pretty much what they are. Baby chicks. Um, baby. Uh, well, pullets are baby female chicks. Okay, they are baby hens. Let me get that right. That is what a pullet is. And then you have your male. Okay. I don't have a rooster yet that I think that I know of. And these three over here, I won't know till they get a little older to make sure that the lady gave me all pullets because that's what I asked for. But I have one that's questionable and I won't know until it gets fully grown if it's our actual rooster. OK, so over here are all pullets. Uh, remember, a straight run is a mixture of hens and roosters. OK, uh, pullets are female chicks. OK, that's what a a pullet is a female chick. It's a female chick, okay? Um, a hen is not really considered a hen until it's at least one year old, okay? Um, anything on it, they still consider of, you know, a pullet. That's just what they do. Look, it's a female chicken, okay? I ain't trying to make it hard. Um, I won't be clipping their wings until they get more into, they get older. Um, and I only will clip one wing, Okay. One wing will keep them not being able to fly so good. So you ain't got to worry about them, you know, flying. If they have to get out, they won't get that far. So I will not be, I will be clipping their, um, their flight wings, but it'll be only one on each bird. Okay. So keep that in mind. As for the Easter eggers, the Easter eggers are not a dual bird, meaning a chick, <laughs> are not a dual chick, meaning they are mainly good for egg laying. They lay blue tan some people say yellow but blue tan green eggs okay that's just the color of the egg the egg is still the same in the inside all right so that is what a easter egg is i mean i ain't never seen nobody eat an easter egg i'm not gonna say you can't but i, I don't plan on eating no easter egg okay no you know no no chick okay so i had somebody that come in and they got kind of religious on me about holidays and i'm like i don't even celebrate holidays but for some reason they thought that the the because my title was easter eggers they thought i was talking about easter okay that's the actual name of the chickens all right it was i just thought that was hilarious but um so that's the dealio with the easter eggers um the easter eggers was born december 8th the lady told me so they coming up almost two months old on february 8th okay so yeah um this batch right here so in that batch i have my brown stars i have white leg horns but i'm gonna try to get more leg horns but for some reason for both batches my my leg horns died and then i had a two light brown ones that died but they was the smallest of the batch so i won't know until these get older if they was my production reds or my brown stars um uh, yeah brown stars that actually died uh, but I know the white leg horns. They was the only white chickens that I had. Um, so a white leg horn, let me just go ahead and tell you, is a egg layer. 
They're not to be eaten. Now I'm not saying you can't eat it, but it's not it's not a bird that you want that that, that, that is meant to be ate. Okay. It's pretty much just uh a egg layer, okay, for the eggs or whatever. Um, and y'all, when you do your, your thing, make sure you keep your printouts. I print out about my chicks because it's a lot. It's it's a lot of knowing. Um it's a lot of knowing. Now I do know for myself out of everybody. It was only the uh, Easter eggers and the leghorns that was not dual birds, but I don't have the leghorns, okay? Everybody else should be dual, okay? So I'm going to name, tell y'all which ones I had. Um, I should have brown star. The brown stars are dual, meaning they lay, they're good for, laying, for um, laying eggs and they can be processed for meat, okay? So if y'all getting them and you want to know about a brown star, Brown star is a dual chicken. All right. Um, it says they lay brown eggs. Um, they lay the rate of eggs. They can lay up to 240 a year. Um, broodiness, no. Okay. Saying you ain't going to have to worry about them too much trying to be mama. Okay. Um, trying to get your eggs and, and trying to trying to hatch your egg. Okay. That, that's what that means. Okay. Um, they'll try to lay on it. The ones, the chickens that's brooded, that's, um, broodiness, they are the ones that would like to keep their eggs, um, not knowing if it's fertile or not. They just have that, um, I guess that instinct to try to, you know, be mommy and lay on it, lay on the eggs. Okay. Uh, but a brown star is not, um, it say that the male can get up to eight pounds. The female can get up to six pounds. Um, and they do, I said the brown star lays brown edge and it is large eggs. Okay, so that's for the brown star. Um, let's see. The black star, um, it's a dual chicken also. So it can be made, it can be um, for meat and eggs. Um, it lays brown eggs and the egg side is large. And again, the male can be get up to eight pounds. The female can get up to six pounds. Um, in this batch, I know I have a black ostrilar. I know I have those. I was happy that did not happen to those. Uh, they are dual chickens, so they can be used for meat um, and eggs. Um, they lay brown eggs, um, large. They can lay up to 260 eggs a year, and they are broodiness, okay? Um, the male can get up to 8.5 pounds. The females can get up to 6.5, okay? All right. Um, production reds, okay? Um, these are the ones, the browns that I had. I don't know if they was my production reds that died or, or I may have production reds in here, but I won't know until they get older. But I did order them. So the production reds are dual, okay? Um, the production reds are dual, Um they lay brown eggs and they lay extra large eggs. Okay. Extra large eggs. They can lay up to 260, um, up to 260 per year. They're not broodiness. Okay. Um, the male can lay up to, um, no, I mean, the male can't lay. The male can get up to, I saw something in my comments, y'all. It just kind of threw me off. The males can get up to 8.5 pounds. The females can get up to 6.5 pounds, okay? Um, yeah, Chi-Chi Sweets, uh, pullets are hens less than one year old. I had said that. I, I know. I, I don't think I said that wrong. Um, yeah, that's correct. I'm not sure if you asking me or telling me. All right, y'all. So Easter eggers, I already said they are layers. Um, they lay, I told y'all they lay green, blue, sometimes tan eggs, okay? 
Um, so we talked about that. And we talked about the Leghorn. So those are the ones that I have um, so far. So I'm pretty sure I have my black astrolarks because I have two of those and I have my black stars. The ones that's questionable is going to be my production reds and my brown stars. Yeah. And I need to order some leg horns, okay? Those Easter eggers, eggs. Huh? Okay, so, um, so yeah, so that's the thing on the chicks. So let me just tell you, um, I use the 20% crumble. If you're buying baby chicks, you know, you need the crumble for them. Um, I do do more, but I'm getting ready to change my feed on them. But they, they, are, they get to the age where they can, you know, they, they can, they can, I can go ahead and change it. Okay. I did not feed my chicks medicated uh, feed. I thought about it, but I didn't. Um, my chicks are vaccinated. These egg, Easter eggs are not vaccinated. Um, but these, I did get them vaccinated for uh, Mirix disease. Um, so, yeah, they are vaccinated. I cannot say that the next ones I get, if I'm going to get them vaccinated or not. But Ideal Portrait only charged 20 cents per vaccination so that is really really good um but like i say i did not give them medicated feed i just started off with the do more um crumble um but i am gonna i am getting ready to change their feed and add more things to their diet but it's very important that they have the baby feed because they need that it's important that they need that nourishment you know in early stages of their life they do eat a lot they do eat a lot. It seems like they eat all day. <laughs> they do eat a lot, but that is needed for their growth and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. Also, if you're getting baby chicks, make sure that you buy small water feeders. No, um, yeah, water. the water feeders are the small ones. If you can't find it, just buy. go to the Dollar Tree somewhere and get some marbles and put in it to take up some of that space and stuff because they are kind of you know, wobbly and stuff at first, and they can drown themselves. So be very, very careful if you're buying little bitty, like day old, week old chicks. They they establish themselves very, very quickly. Like these, they establish themselves in like three, four days. I took the marbles out because they were just like, hey, I don't need that. Like I could tell that they will be fine. Uh, but now they don't even have to have any. Um, so one way that I feel like chicks is uh, a need if you can have them is because you got to think about the eggs okay you got to think about the eggs that you would get if you want to start up a little business y'all already know i want to start up a little chicken business um so i've been working on different things um an egg business i already told y'all i'm thinking about um, e um incubating some chicks and just selling the chicks um i will be shipping the chicks and all that stuff so i've been looking at everything in play um for that this is my flock now i'm not i'm not selling my flock or anything like that these is i've been putting in work for them they gonna give me eggs and whatever whether i sell some of the eggs because i'm i mean i'm sure it's gonna be a lot of eggs that i'm not gonna be able to um to um it's going to be a lot of eggs, okay? A lot of eggs. So I'm going to have to get rid of some. I'll give some away to my neighbors, different things like that. Um, I am thinking about, I'm still thinking about if I want to get a rooster. That way I can have my own fertilized eggs. You have to have a rooster, of course, to have fertilized eggs, okay? Um, and you can still eat fertilized eggs. There's nothing wrong with you eating. If, 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 you still eat the eggs just as normal. Um, but just the fertilized eggs had, you know, the rooster fertilizer makes it possible for you to make a bake and get chicks. So, yeah, so it's very easy. I feel like it's one of the best choices I could have made. Um, 
far as chickens. So that's why I tell you, don't let nobody discourage you. Um, getting chickens, the big, big thing is learning what you need to do to keep them alive, especially when they're so young, if you're doing it during the winter months. Now, just keep in mind, look at the size of them now. If I would be waiting on tractor supply to, I would, and there's nothing wrong with that if you want to get them in spring so you can bypass keeping them warm in your house or in the garage or something like that during the winter months. Um, I just wanted to learn about them. So when spring come, I can just focus on the garden and all this stuff. And I ain't got to be learning about no chicks. Um, and I feel like you just go with the flow. You know, that's a lot of stuff. And it's just like how I do the garden, y'all. Just go with the flow. Your chicks ain't going to be the same as mine. They can be the same breed. Uh, and one thing that I have paid attention to, my chicks goes off my my attitude, my personality. I've noticed that. Yeah, y'all will see. Your chicks going to have different per They're going to have their own personalities. But what I've learned is they, they learn they learn their human parent and they will go off that. And that's what one of the amazing things is they adjust to who they know, you know, and it's just, um, it's just better, you know, Ugh. I'm blue in my face. Um, it's just better. So that's why I say, you know, we can have the same type of chicks, but the attitude of those chicks and stuff like that, will be different the different climates and stuff like that like when you get baby chicks they say look for pasty bugs it will kill the chicks if their poop gets stuck and you need to get a warm cloth i did that like once and i said no 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 i ain't wiping no more butts i ain't got to okay google say you gotta do this you gotta do that they just fine they pooping up a storm they doing just fine so y'all know you gotta pick and choose what's better what you see with your chicks I went to Google at first because I was new at it. Now I'm doing it just like I would do my garden. You know, you have to play it by eye and, and, and ears and, and see what's going on. Like we had um, the one that was having the eye issue. Now my friend, there she grows, had told me to get the eye ointment and put it on there or Vaseline. Um, Her eye still looked it. A little bit, I was like, you know what, though? She has to go back in there. And I want to see if they plucking her or if it was just something going on. Haven't seen nobody, like, pluck her by her face or anything. So it could have been the one plucked her and made her lose her hair around her eyes or whatever. Or it could have been an eye infection or something because... Hey, hey, stop it. No. See, y'all? They, they, they listen. Because I saw them two over there plucking the black one. That's a no-no. No, stop it. Uh -uh. Wait a minute. Come here. I, I, I'm over here. Not, not. I'm going to take you out. You're going to be by yourself. Girl, I talk to them like they're human. They be looking at me sideways and everything else. But she wanted to pluck. And that will happen. Um, plucking is different from the pecking order, okay? For anybody, that they will have to go through a pecking order to see who is boss and all like this. But you will have some of them chicks that will sit there and pluck the mess out of another chick. And you need to stop that because that can make them sick. Oh, now you want to come over here. What you going to do? Yeah, you might want to go on here and go back, honey. I mean, I catch you plucking nobody. You going to go by yourself until you get some sense. Um, anyway, you, uh, you'll have some that'll sit there and try to pluck. And all this, and if they have, if they pluck to where any little blood spot, they'll continue to sit there and pluck them and pluck them. They'll pluck them balls, okay? And they can put the chick in distress and kill it. So you want to watch that. Now, they will go through something called a pecking order to, to establish who is grown, who, well, who is the leader and all that stuff. When they get to that point, I'll let them have their little pecking order. But when if I see somebody getting hurt, then I'm going to come in, Okay. We're going to stop it right then and there. You will have to do that when I don't see you. If I leave the house or something like that. So 
But yeah, so I'll be watching. Um, when I have them live on the other channel, I do come in um often and I'll look, especially if I leave the house or something. I'm always watching on my phone. Um, I will watch. Oh, they putting on a show now, y'all. I will watch to make sure I, I don't see. I got to get the band so I can name them and I know exactly from a distance who is doing what. Because, like I say, they will sit there and try to pick the feathers out. And you, you don't want that to happen, okay? So now y'all want to put on a show because I done had to get on y'all butts. Now y'all want to go back and forth and all this. Mm-hmm. You want to go back and forth. You the one that be wanting to come out. So, yeah, y'all. So, just keep that in mind. And I, like I say, I say go for it. Um, and another thing with handling baby chicks, make sure you have sanitizer. But I prefer sanitizer so you can get to use some bleach water. Because that is one issue. But it was no biggie. I was scared about it at first, about the salmonella issue and all that stuff. Especially with everything going on. Nobody want to get sick with no salmonella and nothing else. Um, but as I start handling them and getting used to it and just washing and stuff like that, keeping everything nice and clean and all that, it's no biggie. It's no biggie. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's no biggie. So I say go for it, you know, go for it. So let me get to some of the comments if anybody got questions. First of all, can I get... A hand raise of anybody that got chickens or is about to get chickens. Um, hold on, y'all. I be feeling like something flying on my lips from that thing when they be kicking it up. I'm like, uh-uh. Um, can I get a hand of anybody that's got chickens or the people that that's going to be getting chickens? That's planning on getting chickens for the spring um, and summer months. Cause I want an idea of how many people in here right now that's getting chickens or have chickens. Gardener, gardening with Eve has chickens. Yes, it's 37 people in here. If y'all can thumbs up the video, that'll let um YouTube know that y'all like the content and it'll help it be, you know, recommended throughout YouTube. So I appreciate it if y'all can hit that thumbs up button. Okay, so we got Gardening with Eve has chickens. Thank you, 2%. Um, I see you. Okay, North Carolina Gardener. So you in my area. Um, you're, you're be, I know I ain't gonna say that right, but I'm getting some in March. Okay, you're getting some in March. That's next month. So be getting your stuff ready. Lady that says, LOL, chick sitting will be delivered March 14. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So then there is three blue dragons. I hope to get some this spring. Okay. Tamisha Wilburn says, hello. I'm a new subscriber. Well, welcome, honey bun. Welcome. And I love, I would love to get chickens, but kind of nervous. Honey, don't be nervous. I'm doing it right with you. And so many more people is going to be getting chickens. Honey, don't be, if you got the space and you got the time, get some chickens. Okay. Get some chickens. Don't be nervous. I was nervous the day that I was supposed to get them three Easter eggs. I said, I ain't finna do it. I ain't finna do it. I ain't finna do it. Okay. But hey, I say get them. I, I say get them. Um, urban no urban oasis. Okay, okay, got you, got you. Annetta Jones said, "I would love to get some. Get some if y'all got the space. Get them, okay? Get them if you got the space and the and the funds. But you really can use what you got. Most of you really have to get is like they waterers and like they food because that's a must because they need the nutrition. You can figure out what to do for a bo a brooder." And the heat lamp, if it's still cold, I mean, it's I think it's worth it. Everything that's going on, y'all. Every time I turn around, y'all. Okay, so I put out the video about the fertilizer plant. I I had checked to make sure at first that you know that the video wasn't out. Okay, and nobody had talked about. It, so I was like, I was skeptical at first. I said, Well, I'm gonna let everybody know to begin your fertilizer. Okay. 
So that plant, it seemed like people knew, knew but you know, I guess it, it wasn't suffering, su suffering like this, suffering. It wasn't around like that. Okay. So, um, and I was thinking as I was doing the video, I'm like, this is important. You know, people need to know what's going on. That is a big fertilizer company. And um, as of yesterday, that comp that building was still burning. I ain't checked the day to see if it's still burning. It was still burning. It started Monday at around 7.30 p.m. Now, they said nobody was in the building. They had to evacuate all those people because of the nitrate and all that stuff. It, it, it could have exploded and made everything worse. But y'all, I'm going to tell y'all an article that I saw. I have never used this method, but I'm going to tell you what I saw. Black eyed peas, they say black, you know, black eyed peas have like the nitrogen and stuff like that, stuff in it and all that, that all that book stuff. They said black eyed peas is a good fertilizer to add to your garden. I'm going to be growing me some black eyed peas just for that reason. Okay. So you could do, do your research, research on it and stuff like that. But that is another alternative because fertilizer was, it was already a shortage of fertilizer. Fertilizer was already going up. Now that everybody is getting ready for growing, the daggone plant catch on fire. And all these years, the plant catch on fire. Yeah. Only who knows what today or bring, tomorrow or bring, or whatever the case may be. So you got to do what you got to do to make sure. At this point, it's what you do for yourself. You see in the title, I put, you know, will you, um, will you survive? I feel like it's getting back to the days when that's the only way you ate. You didn't go to the store maybe once, twice a week. You know, you, we heard about it. I heard about it. Okay. I'm, by the time I was born, that was before my time. But people would go into town and stuff like once, once a month, twice a month or something like that. Everything was grew, was grown on their land, you know? Um, so... Um, so grow as much as you can. If you're scared about getting chickens, I'm going to tell you, it's not hard at all. It's not hard at all. Get, oh, let me just go ahead and say this. So y'all know I do the chat. I do the challenge, uh, the Mississippi girl gardening and prepping challenge. Okay. Every Sunday I was trying to go live and put the money in the envelope. So this is the thing. I'm going to change it up a little bit. And I probably have to do another video solely on this, but I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that's in there. Because so many of you have said that y'all end up shopping before February 1st. And I get that. It made so much sense. With things going, you got to get it as you go. So I'm going to change the challenge to being $30 or close to it, at least. If you got more funds, you can do more funds, but at least. Buy something weekly for as far as your prepping or your gardening. That way you can always, we ain't got to wait till a whole month and then things may be gone. So a lot of you guys had shopped before me because I was still waiting on doing it on the first of the month. So if you want to, we're just going to do it this way. Every week, find $30 or close to $30. If you got more, go over to do it. Y'all saw what I hauled. I hauled my potatoes and stuff. I got me another fig tree, all that stuff. But I also hauled bread and water for the prepper pantry. So we're going to do that route. And every week I'll show you what I end up picking up. Now, I may I already know this week, God said the same. I know one of the major things that I got to pick up. And it's for them. It's their feed. Um, 50 pound bag for about $18.00 at a feed store not far from me so um because i'm changing their feed because like i say i just bought feed the other day and it's about gone um uh, because it was small bass from tractor supply so i'm changing their feed um and stocking up on it um and different things like that so it's so much that i'm gonna be bringing to you about chicken so we do it together so if you're gonna get your chickens 
we doing it together. Mine's will be just a little older than yours. Um, if you're getting them March and you know, things like that. Because like I say, these guys, one was born January 5th, the other was born January 12th. These was born December 8th. Okay. So mine will be a little older than yours, but we still do it together. Okay. So the fertilizer, make sure you got what you what you need for is fertilizing. Um, we're gonna talk about that a little, a little bit more, a little later. Um, but yeah, with all the food shortages, at least you'll have eggs. At least um, next thing that I've been telling y'all about, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do. I am gonna do it if it's God's will. I am gonna be getting quail, quail either the end of this month or the beginning of this month. Yes, I will be getting quail. I, I wanted to do it. Um, so I was like, you know what, now that I got them more established, I feel like I'm a pro when it comes to the chickens. I know exactly how, um, I need to put the, the quails and stuff like that. I just wanted to get closer to spring to get these guys out in a coop and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so quail is coming. Quail only takes about six to eight weeks before they start laying eggs, probably closer to eight weeks before they start laying eggs. You may have to barter those eggs. You may have to sell those eggs to get you a little change on the side. Or shoot, you may... Look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Something I used to do a long time ago. Um, and it should be videos on this channel because y'all got a lot of videos, okay? Since 2015, I got a lot of videos. Um, I'm going to see if I can search that video and put it in my community tab. But there was a time when I was really into my preserving. I would take an ice cube tray. And I will just take store-bought eggs and um, put them into a, a bowl or some and mix them up. And then I would just pour them into the ice cube tray and put them in my freezer. Once they froze, I would pop them out like ice, throw them in a Ziploc baggie, throw them back in the freezer. So if you're getting too many chickens, you can't sell them, you can't give them away, you can always store them. Okay? Those are things you could do. I used to even take the eggs. Put up whatever seasoning you want, whatever meat you want. Um, and I, I will beat them up. Put your, if you want peppers, if you want seasoning, if you want meat in it, I will take it and put it into, um, get you a cupcake pan and put your little, um, um, if you're going to use the paper cupcake thing or whatever. And I would just put it like a, like a muffin and I will bake it. And when you pull it out, it'd be like egg and ham. This one I was eating pork, egg, ham, your cheese and all that. I would cook it like that in the muffin pans, in the oven, take them out, pop them out, wrap them in aluminum foil and throw them in a bag, in a Ziploc bag. The next morning for my kids went to school when they was actually going to public school, I would go take out a, 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 a two or three foils, Take the unwrap the thing, put it in the microwave, and now they got an egg muffin with meat and cheese and peppers and stuff like that in it. There is so much you can do. It's just that I'm one person, and it's a lot to try to get all this information out. Like I say, I should have videos on it, um, especially when I was doing a lot of my cooking and freezing and stuff on this channel. So I'm going to see if I can go back and resurface those videos and just start loading them on the, uh, well, sharing them on my community tab. That way you can see. But it's a whole lot that, um, yeah, I see you. That's one of the things I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be sharing my recipe uh, with y'all that I'm going to be doing for my chicks to add to their feed. And that's another thing. People add so many different things. I already have right out your plan, y'all. I have wrote out my plan on what I choose, and everybody go choose to feed they chicks different, you know. Um, and that's on you, you know. I, I, that's on you, you know. So, there are things that I will be adding to my chickens. Um, I already told y'all, I already told y'all, okay, um, that I will be having a garden for my chickens, okay, but I'm not gonna do just take it from the garden. And throw it in the coop. No, I don't want to do that because I don't want to add anything they don't eat. We have flies and stuff here real bad, especially being coastal. I don't want to leave it there. They didn't eat it. And I got most stuff. You know, I'm, I'm going to do my stuff a whole lot different. Just then I'm just not going to take straps and throw it in the coop. Now, I'm not knocking nobody that does that. Not knocking nobody that does that. I 
ain't going to do that. OK, but I'm still going to get them what I need them to have. And like I say, I try to keep it very clean and stuff and not have different things that they can and all this stuff because it brings a lot of unwanted bugs. And my garden is going to be out there and I don't want all that. Y'all know how I do. I just try to keep it, you know. Um, um, I just try to, you know, just, I just want to do it that route. Whichever way you do it, do it. I got 44 47 people in here. Can y'all please smash the thumb up button? That will help get this live recommended, y'all. It really helps out the channel when y'all thumbs up, you know, the videos and stuff. Um, So let me go. Let me see. So I'm going to try to go through and catch up. Hey, Sheila Wheeler. Hey, Kelly Homestead with Pooh Bear. Hey, PNG Media News, 2%. Hey, y'all. see. Allie Joe plays Joe. Hey. Lady Dagger status, CB. Gardening with E. Her A is going to be just better action. I'm not being all cool. Two percent. You said I would love to taste some fresh eggs. I said farm eggs. Ha ha! You ain't on a farm. <laughs> okay. So let me see who. Tanisha Wilburn, welcome, honey. Kind of nervous. Don't be nervous, honey. Get those chickens. And Netta Jones, I would love to get some. Get some. I'm in North Carolina, too. Short. Oh, you're about four hours from me. What is this? Geizo? I, I know I didn't say that right, honey. But yeah, you're about four hours from me in Charlotte. I'm getting chickens this spring. Yes, Tamisha. What about when you have to go away? <laughs> well, if I have to go away, I'm just going to add buckets that has probably sprouts with a whole lot of a whole lot of water throughout. Okay. Um, that is a reason why the way I'm going to do my coop is they run area will be will have the option of being enclosed too. So if I have to go away, I don't have to worry about getting them put in um, and stuff like that. Put out a lot of food, a lot of food, a lot of food. There are so many ways you can do. You get five gallon, gallon buckets, fill it up with food. You have these little openings at the bottom that will dispense out the lower it get. You may just have to put a lot of food out, a lot of water out. They'll be fine. They will be fine. So that's not an excuse if you have to go away. And I'm not saying you making an excuse, but a lot of people have that thought. Um, you never know what happens. And you may have to leave or you may have to. But I'm going to be honest. I don't deal with people. I don't deal with a lot of people. I'm not doing no get together, no none of this, especially with no pandemic. So in case something happened that's out of my control, I don't plan on having to go away. <laughs> so no vacation, nothing. I don't have to worry about that stuff because... Especially, especially with everything going on, I just don't feel like it's worth it for me to be going out there. You know, I rather I, mm -mm, no, 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 no. So I, I'm not worried about you know that situation. What in the world happened? Hold on, can y'all see me? Cause it say it was 47 people in here. Now we're saying one person. 
Now it went back to 43. Y'all, that was weird. I was like, what? What did I just say? Did everybody just went like, <laughs> now it's back to 43. It said one. I'm like, what the what? Um, okay, so let's see. Yes, if you take the time to come watch the same person over and over, thumbs up, help the channel. Yes, 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 yes. See, something going on because it went back to one again. Now it's back to 44. <laughs> Lady Dagger says that I saw someone order two batches and one box had 27 and all of them arrived dead. So sad. Must have been too cold. Probably. And it happens. You know, it happens. Okay, I have 13 and ordered 26. Low maintenance. Okay, I see you. Yeah, it's going to be tough, rough, tough times. Yes, it will. It is, y'all. It is. composting and worms oh i never heard of black eyed peas that's great information yes yes i ordered fertilizer this morning i don't blame you cb of home gardening and pantries i saw that as well but didn't understand if you use them okay issues of soil i got peas we'll do some research Things are going fast. Yes, they are. They are. Trying for summer, looking for an affordable coop for six. And Chi Chi Sweets, you may have to just make your own, honey. You may have to just make your own. Hopefully, when I got, I don't want to say right now um, what it's going to be. And y'all already know I can't say everything that I'm going to do because. Still, I, I haven't been bringing it to y'all attention, and I'm not going to because that's what people want me to do. But y'all, I'm still having issues. I'm still having issues out of people just, just, it's annoying. You know, it's just annoying. I'm still having issues, but I'm not going to bring that publicly on my channel. I just want y'all to open y'all eyes, and when you go from channel to channel, you see and one thing about it, time stamps on these videos, they don't lie. And it's just like, and I'm going to go ahead and say this. Stop sending me these links. I don't ever, I, I, stop sending me these links of things I don't care to see, you know, because pretty much all I do is, dis, is dismiss it. I delete it. And I got to the point to where I just been blocking a lot, Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that this year, but there are things that just be unknowing, like, dang, like, like, dang, like, every, mm, like, you can't come up with, with your own stuff, like, ugh. so I am been, I have been, like I say, like I say, I see y'all watching because you're sending me information, but I really, I'm not going to spend energy and time on that. So you kind of wasted your time constantly sending me links and stuff. I dismiss it. You know, I just, yeah. So it is what it is. So I can't, I'm not going to say what my plans are until I know for sure that I'm going to go that route. And also I don't want nobody to go buy the stuff and be like, oh, Mississippi girls, is she going to do this? And then I change my mind and don't do it. So when I say that, I say all this to say this, Chi Chi Sweets, it may be better that you don't buy the traditional coop. You know, it may be better that you know your area, you know how much space you have, you know you want ch six chickens, okay? It may be cheaper, honey, that just don't look for affordable because those are, those are high. They are high and they very small. And it's because they know with everything going on, it's just like the gardeners though. With everything going on, people is going into gardening, 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 and people are buying chickens. People are buying rabbits. And they are taking this stuff. How you got more people on Facebook Marketplace making chicken hut, chicken um coops and rabbit hutches now, and they are putting them prices on them. I said, uh, -uh a lot. I ain't finna, you must be crazy. 
I bet you the wood ain't even water, ain't even that wood that lasts during during um weather, rain and all that stuff, and heat and uh uh. Look into ways that you can make a coop yourself. And I ain't talking about building a coop. There's ways you can actually use things to make a nice coop. And this is I said this in the other video, and I said this for a reason. Your coop don't lo don't have to look like everybody else's. Your coop don't have to be the traditional coop. Don't get caught up with what people expect it to look like or what people may think. You know your chickens. You see them. You, you, you see their sizes. You see this. You know what's best for them. Don't let nobody tell you what you, what you should have it like. Because if you do that and you follow other people, you ain't going to be able to focus on what really you need, okay, and what they need. So you don't need the traditional anything, you know. They're just putting play for you to spend your money on it. You you know, you, you really don't. Yeah. So keep that in mind right there. And like I say, soon I will be having some options for y'all. But it's sad that I can't, that I have to, I learned my lesson, okay, saying too much. I learned my lesson. So I just have to do the video on it um, when I make sure that that's what I'm going to do as for a coop. Okay. Um, so, yeah. And I don't want to. And that's not. It's those two reasons. I don't want to stand. And then I change my mind. I want to have the stuff. And then I can go live and say, hey, y'all, this is the choice I came up with. This is what I'm going to do. A lot of things is to use our common sense, you know. Use our own common sense. Use our own style. Use use what's within us to make it better for what we need to do, if that makes sense. You have a mind and brain and ideals that's just as bad as the other person. Do what you feel like, what you like, what you like and what you comfortable with and what's in your budget, you know. And what, 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 what John... And, and, and Pookie and Peanut and them do, that, that, that's what they do. That's maybe what they like or what they can afford. But be happy with whatever it is you choose to do. And put your own your own style on it. Make it stanky. Stank, make it stanky it up with your style. Do what you got to do and be proud about it. That's the main thing. That is the main. That goes for your garden, too. That goes for your garden, too. Grow what you eat. Don't grow just because. The past two seasons, I grew a lot of stuff I don't eat that I can't eat. I would eat, but I can't eat. And that was just so y'all can see because I had so many people that was new to gardening that you can grow in buckets. That's why I grew so many things. But y'all, like I told y'all, my garden is going to be different this year. Only things we can eat. I'm not even growing no peppers and no tomatoes this year because I can't eat them. That's a waste of my time. Now, two seasons ago. 2020, 2021 wasn't a waste of my time because I needed to let y'all see that you can grow all type of stuff. Now we, you know that if you got any questions about what can you grow, just go back to my playlist for gardening 2020 or gardening 2021. You will see everything you can grow, even the trees in the buckets. Okay. Um, but this year I'm focusing on what I can make meals with for my family. I don't want a deep freezer full of stuff that I can't use, but I don't want to throw it away because I don't want to waste food. So my garden, my garden may look different from everybody else. And that is okay because we're all different. We're all different. Okay. We think different. We do things different. We are from different places. Our mentalities are different. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to say that. So do what you do what you want to do and be happy with what you come up with. And it don't have to be hard. You know, don't don't make it hard. Don't it's easy as possible. These are chickens, y'all. These are chickens. You as a human being. These are freaking chickens. Now, yes, they gotta be taken care of and stuff, but they chickens. They do what you say do, okay. They eat when you give them food to eat. They drink when you give them food to drink. You ain't control. They don't control you. You taking care of them. You the bread. They, they know what side they bread is butter. They know who feed them and who that. It ain't that hard. It don't, don't make it hard. Don't make it hard. They are chickens. 
like I say with my guard, these are furry babies. Okay, they're your babies. They my babies. They furry babies. They they just chickens and all this. And we need some structure. You gotta, you know, you in control of this. So keep that in mind. Don't make it hard. Don't let them out. You know, get the best of you or whatever. You know, some gonna live, some gonna die when you first get them. That's just how it is. Don't get attached to them, especially in the beginning. Don't get a you will get attached to them, but don't just understand it. One die, two die, four die, whatever. That is what it is. That is just what it is, especially if you ordering them or whatever. Hey, tell call the company, let them know, and they'll probably some company will replace them. If not, chickens, and that's another thing. Right now, chickens is not that they not that uh expensive but everybody ordering chickens they gonna become expensive that's why i said i think i'm gonna go ahead and get a rooster so i can have fertile my own fertilized eggs from my own flock in case i need to sell some chickens or something so that's that's my plan that's what i'm working on that pookie and peanut in them yeah honey yeah i, I mean gotta do what you gotta do African Dream is that I agree. You got to do your own thing according to your needs. Exactly. Uh, from East Africa, what are you doing? You did the front of lot of blast, and then somebody came right behind you and reported. Oh, I saw that, CB. I saw that. Let me tell you. And I, I didn't even want to get on that. Let me tell you. I literally went to channels to make sure I wasn't stepping on nobody's toes. That video, that happened Monday at 7.30. I got a call from somebody that was like, hey, you going to do this? I said, I saw it, but I'm I'm skeptical about if I'm going to even do it, if I'm going to even. And then some like, just go ahead. So I literally went to channels. And I literally made sure I wasn't going to step on nobody's toe because that's the person I am. I ain't greedy for no views and stuff. They nice because they help pay some bills. I ain't even going to lie. This is my job. But I was always taught to try to be respectable and not. I went and I looked and I saw nobody did it. About two hours after I put that thing up, somebody came right behind me and did it. And, it, and this is my thing. People will come in the comments and say, you know, it's getting repetitive because we see the same videos over and over and over and here i am trying to make sure that i don't put up repeated videos but you got people that is constantly doing it and i'm like that ain't no coincidence that ain't no coincidence and i say you know what and that's what i mean it's not about we in the garden we in the garden if you get chickens or whatever do your videos but y'all, like CB, you know, and some of y'all know, it that ain't going to happen all day, every day, what time somebody put up this, somebody come right behind. That ain't no coincidence. That's, oh, I may be able to get some views off of that. I may have, I, who cares she put that up? I'm going to put mine up. That's how people think. And you step on toe, but I'm going to say this, be careful who you step on and how you do people when you making your way to the top. Because them same people you may pass by when you come back down to the bottom. I literally looked to make sure I want, because if I would have saw anybody reported that, I wasn't going to do it. Because that's who I am. But everybody ain't like that. And y'all have said, you know, some videos I don't even watch because it's just repeated stuff. Everybody, And I'm, I'm like, I, I understand. I ain't going to sit there and want to do that. Back to, I ain't going to want to sit there. Okay, this person just said this. Okay, I, and then I'm like, uh-uh. It's enough on this platform and anywhere. It's enough that you don't have to do that on purpose. Now, every now and then, you probably going to butt head. If I, do, if I do a video on this and somebody else do a video on that, ain't no way in the world you should be using exactly the way I put it out. Put your own stink on it. Put your own stink. Put your own feel on it. You nine times out of ten, you ain't gonna do it like me. Nine times out of ten, I'm not gonna do it like you, and that is fine. People got that missed, like, 
oh, well, everybody can do it. Yeah, anybody can do whatever. But we're here to help the viewers, help ourselves. This is our job and all this, this type of stuff. I get it. But don't nobody, the viewers don't want to sit here and see the same thing over and over because people don't know how to, how to just don't step on, just don't do it. But see, that's my problem. Trying to have respect for others. Everybody ain't got that same respect. It's all about what they can get. Let me do this because my channel is a little bit bigger. I'm going to get the following. I'm going to get this. That's why I say a lot of you have been keeping your eyes open, looking at the stamp. It's not fair, but it's nothing you can do. It's nothing you can do, but just keep on. And that's my thing. I've had so many people try to get stuff started. Oh, y'all been trying. Y'all been trying. No, 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 no. I'm just going to let the viewers, like y'all been doing, see. Because the timestamp, don't lie. You ain't going to sit here up here and put up something and then come back and say, oh, I ain't, uh-uh, no, no, no. What that say? What that say right there? Uh-huh. Yeah. And I know, I know, you know, and like I say, we're going to we're gonna hit on the same topics. I'm not talking about that. We all in the same communities. Some of us is in different communities. We're going to hit on this. I'm not talking about that. But purposely, purposely and having no type of courtesy at all, that is annoying. That is selfish. And that is not nice. It's not. And so, CB, I'm glad you, you saw it. Then I'm sure everybody else then saw it. And it's been going on. It's been going on. Yeah. So what I did was I just went on and hit them three dots because I don't want nothing to trigger me to make me get off of what I'm trying to do, which is trying to help people to get daggone chickens and fertilizer so we can grow. So if I have to hit three dots on everybody, then I will because I don't deal with people like that anyway. That is one of the reasons why I don't deal with people. I don't deal with people. I don't. And I'm most, I'm so happy about it because... The way I am as a person, people will use that. You know, people will use that. And you know what? I'm going to tell you this. People, some people are just so crazy. I, they, they, I don't think people think. And I'm going to say this and then I'm going to leave it alone. Sometimes people will step on the person they done told their deepest secrets to. And y'all know what happened. Nine times out of ten, people open their mouths. But I'm telling you, you can do whatever you want. Your deepest, your trash, your dirty laundry, I would never put out in the open. That's who I am. Your trash, your dirty, dirty, dirty laundry, I will never put out in the open. And I feel like that's my problem. People get a sense of who I am. And they feel like, well, I can still do this because she ain't going to say nothing. You right. But, but, but. Is not nice. And you you may come back and be friends somebody else and tell them the same secrets. And that person may not be me. You know? So yeah. So it just that's how I know right there. People just ain't thinking. Money and stuff can just really change. This is a job for everybody, but Please understand if you if you starting a, a channel, this platform right here, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest. And as some people may not even like this, but I'm going to tell you from my experience, people have motives, okay? And people will befriend you on this platform and they have motives. If you're a content creator... I hate that I got to say this. You better off just be doing your own thing, focusing on your own business, raising your own, doing whatever you're doing. And don't be friend nobody. Because people come like the most best thing understanding. And they have motives. Good thing is I can peep the motive out real quick. And when I do, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I went from 23 mods to, um, I think I got five mods. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Actually, I got four. Cause I don't, I don't, no, 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 I got three mods because no, I got, huh. 
Yeah, I got four mods. Because the other two is my husband. And he don't even be in my lives like that. So, one is his personal account, and then the other is his actual um, channel. And y'all know both of those. You see a Ronde Smalls, you know that's his that's his government name. And you see reflect on what, that's his channel. That's his actual channel. So, yeah, I'll say just uh, be careful, okay? Be careful. MGL, I'm late. Glad to catch you. Hey, Crystal Creation of Williamsburg. But yeah, y'all. So, CB, you got me off on another dag on topic, but it needs to be said. It needed to be said. So, I'm just glad. I'm so glad that people see, you know, that I'm so glad people have their eyes open. If it's just that one person, because it's not nice. It's really not nice to do. It's not nice to be that daggone greedy. And just, it's not nice. It's, it's not nice. It's not right. And I can't make people to be like me. It's so much stuff that we can do. It's so many ways. It's so, it's so much. It's so much out there. The world is full of things we can do in different ways. And just being your, yourself. It's so much for everybody that you ain't got to step on nobody's toes. You ain't got to, you know do that so um okay um so yeah so let's see all right y'all so, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get off in here. It is 120, okay? So, I hope the information I gave y'all about the chickens, um, I hope that information is good. Get y'all chickens, y'all. If you want chickens, don't be discouraged. Uh, people just sell their souls for views to have that status and power, to think they really think they something. Just be yourself and do you your writings. Yes, Lady Dagger status, they do. And like I say, I done saw... I saw it. I'm just like, that's why I say I don't, I, I don't, I don't deal with, I don't deal with nobody now. I don't, I, I, I just, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I just, mm -mm, I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. But yeah, people will do that. Like, it's very hard. It's very, it's very hard. And my thing is just, just focus on your thing and do you know but hey it is what it is because you still got people that's got them mentalities it's like i'm gonna do it anyway I, I don't they don't care and that's just how people are you know but please understand i try even people i don't even watch before i do something and this is just me i try like something like that like something like that that's random like that i just try to make sure i just try to be courteous of the people in my surrounding um community on this platform that i'm not i'm not i mean it's just the right thing in my book to do you know so you write lady dagger status people would do anything anything and it's just yeah please stick to the subject everyone don't mention race or countries we don't want yeah, that, yeah, that is a no no. Thank you, two percent. That is a no no. Um, be good, y'all. Gotta get to work. See you in the next live. Okay, New York, New blah, blah, blah. North Carolina Gardner. Okay, okay, okay. So, y'all, let me just go ahead and get off of here. Um, I'm gonna come back with another live after lunch. I gotta go eat. Um, but after that, I'm gonna have another live for y'all. Um, yeah, we're gonna do another live in a little bit. So if y'all free, you can come back in. It won't be about the chickens, but we're gonna be preparing some stuff, getting some stuff done. Okay. Um, so with that being said, I want y'all to be safe and hopefully I'll see y'all here in the next um couple minutes. I'm gonna try to go on probably at two or right before two. It's 123. Um on my side. Mama ball style karma is real. Yeah, it is, it is, and you ain't even gotta do anything, you know, just be. You do what you gotta do and just but I'm I'm it made my day for just one person said they saw that it made my day because 
I was wondering, did anybody see? Do we and do anybody actually see? And, and like I say, anybody can do what they want, but when you're doing things intentionally, that is just yeah, it's just not nice. Not sure what I missed, but there is so much going on. No, hopefully it is. Sorry, Mr. Chicken. Yeah, exactly, y'all. So I'm just focused. So I am focused, focused, focused. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and have lunch and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna get some stuff prepared. Um, some stuff started because it's that time, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what I've been working with, what I've been doing, and it's time to get the growing. It's time that if there's things we can go ahead and start. Um that'll take longer and all that stuff it just it's just time okay so hopefully i'll see y'all here in a little bit and y'all be safe let me go make me some lunch okay all right y'all bye